Is that for quality workmanship? If you find more coil, send it my way. Good day, hunt. Go easy, bub. Ready to work? We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuses here. Hydra won't want to tussle with me now. Sup, Hunter? I document the supernatural creatures I come into contact with. One day, I'd like to publish a book on the subject. I'm writing a query letter to publishers. How does this introduction sound? The dark occult corridors of the world are filled with monstrous creatures. From Atlanteans to were-roosters to the taker of heads, I, Blade the Vampire Hunter, have hunted them all, and many others. Did you say where roosters? Don't get tripped on them. How does the sentence flow feel? Is it clunky? I have some thoughts. <laughs> You're hung up on the where roosters. All right, let's hear what you got. <laughs> Who could not be tripped up on where roosters? What even is a where rooster? It's exactly what it sounds like. Humanoid chickens that shoot fire from their mouths. I would not have imagined fire-breathing chickens. They were created by the Death Walkers and sent to kill me. The Death Walkers also created were slugs, were honey badgers, and were octopi. Were they pranking you? I should remove were roosters from the paragraph. Too distracting. On the contrary, my imagination is most definitely engaged. Do not, under any circumstance, lose the were-roosters. I really, really hate the Death Walkers, but they might make me a best-selling author one day. Thanks for that, Hunter. I think I will keep the were-roosters in the introduction. Fisticuffs if you remove that nugget of supernatural cockadoodlery. I'll give you a shout-out in the acknowledgments chapter. But I don't do autographed copies. It is quite something you were able to escape Lilith's control. I'm not completely healed yet, but this is helping. Ready to check out my amazing tracking ability. According to the 
map. The way into these tunnels is in a ravine at the base of the mountain. We can bring you right up to the entrance. Beautiful. I can take it from there. I'll have you know I'm indulging your desire to follow this map. Don't say I never gave you anything. After this, I won't even expect a card from you on my birthday. How can this be? It seems we have been walking in circles for hours. It's been 20 minutes. <laughs> Relax. We're close. You said that after your last... sniff. And I was right. seen better. Ambush? This is a slaughter. No kidding. They were trying to get inside that vault. I don't believe in coincidences. Which means... Project Guttermorter. I bet my life on it. So did they. Guess Hydra just dropped a rung or two on the bad guy food chain. Maybe so. Still. This Lillian feels different somehow. Feral. You sniff that out. We can debate the hows and whys later. Get that vault open before more of these things show up. Too late for that. You're right about that. Garbage. That is one way of describing it. I'd be more concerned with how it fights, not how it smells. Stop breathing down your Now that was something. Oh. Ooh, I like it! Possibly match your strength. Better than 
Taking practice. Sorry, but you had it coming. Got some more flunkies coming in. Sealed up tight. So where are those things coming from? The way they move. These Lilin may have come from beyond our world. The walls are no obstacle to them. Just when I thought I'd smelled it all. Here we go again! Hydra follows proper concussion protocols. You were too weak for this fight. Fight. 
should have been through by now. These things aren't that tough. You are the man with the claws. Do something about it. centuries ago. First one that makes an old dog joke gets diced. This shall be of great help. Other events. Feel my good. time to see if Red Skull really did hide his ultimate weapon here.
train you for this, huh? That was your one chance. You will see this. This is a dangerous game of cat and mouse. Not so enjoyable. <laughs> we in the hunt. You have already been consumed. Look for you. You know you're pretty good at this. Your time has come. given me the greatest of gifts. Always some doomsday prophecy or ancient evil with you guys. Almost makes me miss Magneto. is falling apart. I wish I could tell you we had some kind of air support or evac on the way. That would be too easy. You'll leave when Mother says so, not before. Give me enough time, I could have done it myself. Ready to save the day. for this. No mercy for the servants of the What happens when I get angry?
And let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Maybe our only chance. That ain't a chance, kid. It's a monster. So come on, ugly. Let's finish this. Finish this, Logan. <laughs> yes, I will. Come to the forge when you can. It's urgent. Okay, cut the bull, Stark. I know you've got some kind of Hulkbuster up your sleeve. Let's have it. Well, as a matter of fact, I do have some Hulkbuster armor back in one of my warehouses, but it's only a stopgap, not a solution. Especially with the Hulk in his current state. So a smart guy like you never bothered to come up with a fail-safe in case the green chunk ever went psycho? Been meaning to ask, when you woke up and saw a half-vampire in the Abbey, well, was your first thought about killing me? You had not proven yourself an enemy, so I did not treat you as such. As long as you think fast, there's a fine line between choosing your target and hesitating. If I ever... If I become a threat to the rest of you, or to the people out in the world, what I'm asking is, if I lost control, would you stop me? Could you do what needs doing? You want me to promise I will? If I began to treat people like food, if I killed the innocent for the sport of it, damn right I want to promise. If you are ever a threat to yourself and others, I will treat you like any other vampire. Good. I don't know how Lilith does her thing, but I refuse to become one of her fallen. If there's ever a question, I want you to know my answer. I understand. All right then. Didn't expect to have that much fun. Thank you for coming, Hunter. The occult emanations coming from this god killer are unlike anything I have ever encountered. When I gripped it, I saw a face. The face of Cthon. Mm, yes, I suspected as much. The darkness I sense here is beyond the realm of mortals. It's no surprise Red Skull was seeking that level of power. This is more than just an artifact. But whatever it is could represent a change in the direction of our battle against Lilith.
The direct connection to Cathan in this thing is undeniable. And whatever that connection is makes this thing the most dangerous object on the planet right now. I agree with you. The Dark God's imprint here is the reason it demands to be understood. I think the safest option is to keep it here in the forge for a bit longer, at least until I've had a chance to study it more. I don't think anyone should handle it until we know what it is for sure. Very well. And how long do you think that will take? Well, I think the world will be ending soon, so hopefully before that. I need to consult my grimoires. Check back with me when you can. When I woke up this morning, the Red Skull was the furthest thing from my mind. Yet now it seems he's a key player, even from beyond the grave. In my experience, the grave is but a way station, not a destination. Every time I think I've got my mind wrapped around this conflict, I get thrown a curveball. Oh, finding that artifact beneath Mount Wondegore destabilized me as well. Here's hoping Strange can figure out what exactly this god killer is. If the Red Skull had it, then it's nothing good, I'm sure. Earlier, you mentioned the Red Skull was drawn to the occult. Like a fly to a rotting carcass. How much do you know about World War II? I did not realize there was a World War I. I'll just sum it up. Red Skull was a man whose ambition knew no limits. And when our world didn't give him enough, he looked beyond it for even more power. A very dangerous man indeed. And we're all safer that he's no longer among the living. I think the world is safer because you are here protecting it, not because this red skull is gone. I'm just one man, Hunter. It's all of us together that keeps the world safe. That includes you, Tony, Caretaker. Even the ghosts around here do their part. I wonder how the red skull came to share my mother's obsession with Cthon anyway. Oh, I'm sure he tried to find your mother to help him. All part of his Project Gutmorder. My mother never would have allowed him to share her power. Well, I don't think he got that blade just to put it under glass, if you know what I mean. He planned to use it all right. Now we just need to figure out why Crossbones wanted me to have it. Whatever the Red Skull wanted with that weapon, it wasn't good. What's... What is this about the God Killer? The hilt? It looks a lot like the metal your collar is forged from. Or Chalcom. How can that be? I'm not sure it is. It's just a hunch. Strange should examine it. See if my hunch is right. Because if it is, the God Killer might be our best shot at... taking my sister's life. Putting an end to all this madness. Is that not what we all want? An end to this? There's only 2.5 members of the blood left in all creation, Hunter. If we... when we defeat her, my only sister will be dead, and our kind will be nearly extinct. Blood is not thicker than water, Sarah. We have no obligation to be loyal to someone just because we happen to be born into the same biological family. True family is chosen. Lilith chose to walk away from ours long ago. Well put, Hunter. I needed to hear that. I needed to hear myself say it, too. <sighs> Perhaps we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves too much. We're not even sure the handle of that blade is made of orichalcum. Strange will find out. Make sure he does. Salutations.
Nice work out there, bub. Hey, you, can we talk?